Hi, my name is uh, George Dagnino. I'm the editor of the Peter Dac portfolio since 1977. This presentation is about interest rates, the fever chart of any nation. This is a, the most important, fascinating concept that I, 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 I ever learned and I ever studied. And the, the idea of the fever chart of any, of any nation and economy in space and time is uh, I learned it from reading the books of Sidney Homer. He wrote three marvelous books, among others. He was uh, with a major uh, bond company years and years ago, and uh, he wrote the, A History of Interest Rates, uh, The Price of Money, The Great American Gold Market, uh, sorry, the, the, <laughs> the Great American Bond Market. Anyway, it, and he taught me how to look at interest rates and how important they are, not only from a sense of what happens in the business cycle, but it's very useful. Believe me, I will show you in future presentation, they're very useful to make money. Interest rates rise when the economy is very strong, which is around this at the end of phase two. This is when interest rates rise because of excessive demand for money from both consumers and business. And this helps stabilizing the and slowing down the business cycle. And of course, when but will the business cycle start improving again? When the economy is so slow that interest rates decline. This is one of the lagging indicators. When interest rates decline around this period, then eventually borrowing increases, business improves, and so on. So this is an important, a very crucial timing of interest rates, which is extremely helpful for forecasting uh, commodity prices, stock market, and of course bond prices. Interest rates represent the price of money. So when demand for money is strong, and this happens when the economy is strong, then interest rates rise. When the economy is weak and the demand for money is weak, then interest rates decline. It's as simple as that. We are going to look at four different types of interest rates and why four because they are used for very specific investment strategies, very specific. The Treasury short-term interest rates are those uh, paid by the government on short-term instruments like 30, 60, 90 days a year may be Treasury bills. These are interest rates on long-term Treasury bonds. These are interest rates on high-grade corporate bonds, and these are interest rates on low-grade corporate bonds. Each one of these instruments, that is treasury bills, treasury bonds, corporate bonds, high-grade, and corporate bonds, low-grade, as I said, they are very, they're used at very specific times of the business cycle, can be used to make, believe me, quite a bit of money. This is a great concept that I learned from Sidney Homer, as I said before. This is the, the chart of interest rates, short term, medium term, and long term of uh, treasuries, of treasury bonds. And you can see a basic pattern. The average interest rates is around five, around five, five and a half percent. The lower interest rates are relative to to this average, the worse off the country is. Any We had problems in the 70s because interest rates were on 15, 17, 18 percent. We had problems in the 30s and now because interest rates were low relative to this 5, 6 percent interest rates. This rule, believe me, I looked at it, in fact, in the history of money, the, the Sidney Homer goes back to Babylonia. Every time a country had 10, 20, 30 percent interest rates, that country was doomed. Every time a country like we had here in the 30s and in 2010, 2011, of zero in interest rates, that country is doomed. What is the the peculiarity of this level of interest rates is that the higher they go, the lower is the growth 
sharp recessions, high unemployment, high inflation. The lower they go, as in the 30s in 2010, the more people talk about deflation, high unemployment, and, and very slow growth, if not sh sharp recession. So this is the medium, the average. And you, if you look at the last page of, of, uh, of The Economist that shows all the interest rates around the world, you can really look at the, their level and you see exactly what's going on in each country. You don't need to ask a, an expert economist. You'll just have it. But remember, the average interest, interest rates in a sound economy is around 5 to 5 6%. Because of the time allowed by YouTube, I could not show you all the other graphs of, about various types of interest rates and how they behave during the business cycle. Um, I think understanding the pattern of interest rates is one of the most important steps in order to make money with bonds. And believe me, if you buy bonds at the right time, you can make very good money. Uh, to review the complete presentation, uh, please go to www.peterdag.com and where I will analyze all the charts that I could not do it here because of uh, limitation on time. Again, thank you for following me and I'll see you really soon. So long.